What's going on YouTube? Back with another update video. And the tank's finally been broken down. She's just about all drained, got everything all disconnected, all that type of fun stuff. I got stuff all over the house right now. Good thing the wife's not home. Oh yeah. So anyways, the 350's broken down. I ended up transferring the hybrid powder blue to this tank. And I know I'll catch heat for it because it's a tang in a 45 gallon tank. It's the end of the world. It's not gonna work. He'll be seven foot long tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I ended up moving the, the Tang as well as that Melanaris Rass. Um, I've had her for quite a while. So I wanted to, I had a male in this tank, if you remember in the last videos. Um, I went ahead and sold him. Uh, we sold the rest of the fish, uh, the, the Queen Angel, um, that orange spot rabbit fish, the male Melanaris wrasse. I had a long nose hawkfish. And I think that's it. Um, I also moved the goby and the pistol shrimp. You can see his antennas right there. Um, they're actually doing really good in here. Um, they found all kinds of little areas to go. See, we've got the dinos just about kicked. Um, I have the lights kicked up, you know, the, the white right now. So it's not so blue in the video, but um, typically I'm keeping the tank a little bluer. So yeah, I just wanted to do a little update video. Um, we haven't changed the light yet. We're still running the AI Prime and the Blade. Uh, those are gonna go away. Uh, I'm gonna have a Reef Mat 250 to install back in that back corner, as well as the lights. And I'm contemplating on putting a, <clears throat> a flow, flow sensor in there as that was one of the extra parts that came out of the 350. But just so you guys know, the, the, the tang's not staying in here long. We're in the process of looking for a house. So as soon as we get a house, buy a house right now. Don't really want to, but need to. Um, we are going to be building something in the neighborhood of, you know, 200 to 300 gallon. And yeah, call it a day. Uh, the powder blue will kill be coming out. My son's been wanting a porcupine puffer. Um, I've always wanted to get a lionfish. We're doing a fish only on the on this big tank. So, anyways. It's kind of funny. I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but my Rass, as you just seen in the last video, he loves, loves seaweed. The other Rass that was in here did not eat it. Um, but every time I put it in the tank, he's, he's right there with the tang trying to get it. Of course, the clowns have eggs again. So... But I mean, other than that, you can see some white, some super blue. I had those, uh, I forget the name, those, those snails that cast out webs. So 
I could see like three or four of them in here, so I just covered them up with super glue. But other than that, tank's doing good. Um, yeah, I can't say nothing, nothing bad. Phosphate's at a 0.11 right now. Uh, nitrate is at 13.2. The powder blue has been in here for a little over a week. So everything's kind of still staying the way it was. Um, I do typical, you know, five to 10 gallon water changes a week. I did change salts. I went to the Aqua Forest hybrid salt, um, giving it a try. Not really gonna put too much or too many more coral in here. Um, but I am, uh, I, I do know we up the bio load and everything on here. So that's supposed to be probiotic and help with the nitrates and phosphates. We'll see if it does. So other than that, just, just a quick update video. Hopefully next week we'll, we'll have the, the new reef mat and the light put in. And of course, we'll get some par numbers and I'll, I'll uh, make a video on that light. But as for now, you guys have a good one and um, catch you on the next one.